Hi, I'm Dr. Boz, and I'm back again for the fourth in four-part series on what can go wrong when you take on a ketogenic diet. You've seen through the first three posts of this message that there are some pretty gnarly things that happen when you take on a ketogenic diet. But if you're prepared, you can navigate your way through them and get to the other side where those side effects go away. Today's post, we're gonna talk about bad breath. The bad breath associated with ketosis is very real and patients do bring it up all the time. Let's unpack why this happens. When your body produces ketones, at first you produce way more ketones than your mitochondria or your furnaces inside the cells know how to use. This mismatch between produced ketones and those resources that can burn them turn into an overflow spigot within the body. You will pee out extra ketones into your urine and you'll breathe out extra ketones into your breath to keep the number of ketones in your blood at a safe and low enough level. When that happens, that chemical you breathe out is called acetone and it smells weird. Uh, some call it a fruity smell or a metallic smell, but either way, it's a dead giveaway that you're totally burning ketones. One of the monitors to look for ketone production is to measure the byproduct of acetone coming out your breath. Strangely, not everybody suffers from this in the first few weeks. Some people just don't notice the breath that smells weird. Others, uh, it happens for the first few weeks, maybe up to six weeks, and then it fades away. And still others continue to come to my clinic many months down the road saying, I just can't stand the breath. They're usually messing up on something that I'm gonna point out, so stay tuned. So when you first turn that body into a ketone producing machine and you have the extra ketones coming out your breath, you're going to have the most significant smell in your breath at that point. I find it helpful to tell patients that this isn't a new concept to produce ketones and that our ancestors hundreds of thousands of years ago spent most of their time in ketosis and their teeth lasted for a lifetime because of that constant bathing of this anti-inflammatory molecule. They didn't do what we do today, which is bathe our teeth in sugar and starchy foods from nearly the time we can eat until the grave. When you do that, you provide a bath for tiny bacteria throughout the body to grow and set up homes in all kinds of areas in your, in your mouth. These plaques, when you go to the dentist and they scrape off plaques, those are micro little organism colonies of bacteria. This needs to be removed. You need to see a dentist and get those plaques taken care of. If you do have a cavity somewhere that the bacteria have gnarlied a hole into your tooth, that also is a really good source for a terrible smelling breath. So number one, get your teeth checked. Number two, stay hydrated. When you get dehydrated, that concentrates the bacteria in your mouth. Not only does the hydration wash out your mouth and flush away those ketones a little better, as well as flush away those bacteria a little better, but when you're hydrated, you actually pee more. The urine that you make also flushes out extra ketones, keeping the balance between the ketones you've produced and the ones going out in the urine a better match. This leaves less ketones for you to breathe out and therefore your breath is less stinky. Finally, I tell patients to stay the course. In fact, if you want to make stinky breath, you should go in and out of ketosis several times a week. That stimulation of what kind of bacteria grow in a sugar-fed state and the other kind of bacteria that like the ketone-fed state the most amount of bacteria can grow when you keep feeding both colonies. If you transition to a ketogenic state, many of those sugar-fed bacteria will disappear, but you have to stay the course into ketosis. The other part of that equation by staying the course, I do mean the ketosis production, the ketone production in your body will be matched by the cells whose mitochondria are burning ketones. And the only way you're gonna reach that match is to stay in ketosis. By going in and out of ketosis, you turn on the mitochondria and then you turn them off. And then you turn on the mitochondria and you turn them off. Never really getting the body fully adapted to a ketogenic state. This takes those levels of ketones up and down and up and down. And that mismatches the production for how well you can use the ketones and you'll end up with the acetone in your breath again. So again, the three big rules for how to help with that bad breath that comes with ketosis is Get your teeth checked, stay hydrated, 
and stay the course. Stay in ketosis until your body's fully adapted. Thanks for checking in. If you want to learn more about this ketogenic diet, check out the book I wrote any way you can. It's on Amazon or on Kindle or on Audible. I'm signing out for now. I'm Dr. Boz. Mm -hmm.